Okay, so let's say we're looking at consciousness. And consciousness is moving like a pendulum. And you might ask yourself, well, what do you mean consciousness is like a pendulum? If you look at the big picture and you look at our galactic positioning, and you see our sun has a cycle. We did this, that's about 26,000 years. And so for part of the 26,000 years, we're closer to the galactic center and part of the 26,000 years, we're away from the galactic center. And so civilizations rise and fall according to this 26,000 year cycle that goes around the uh, 30 degrees of the zodiac. And so when they say we're moving from Pisces into the age of Aquarius, that's what they're using as their larger measuring stick. And so when we look at us as human beings, and each of us entering into the age of Aquarius, and leaving behind the Piscean philosophies and thinking and moving into the Aquarian world, which is very different. We're seeing now this huge jump in technology and the internet is creating this massive bridge and a chasm to the old world and the new world, to where we come from and where we're going. And right now there's this massive game being played between all the players of the old paradigm, between all the players of the old world, what's happening is they can't exist. They, you know, they're trying to grasp it. They seem like thing is everything's going into the, the darkness, but there's all what's happening. The whole new world is going to be in front of you. you bit. This world is beckoning us in the flame. But we may not know the source of the light. For some reason, it's dip right now. And we're trying to go into a future with a dim light. And there's darkness all around us. And each of us is crying out to the creator, to God, to something greater than ourselves. For help, assistance in some way. And so our species is at a breaking point. It's at a place where we've never been before. And the current media systems are attempting to give a reality no longer exists. But the language and structures that they use go within all our minds, but it's not matching really what has to happen. We need to leave the parent child relationship between authority and communities and enter into a true community. You work for it. We put the needs of the individual as a basis for true law. As we stop the old paradigm of fear for killing our species. And so the new pathways are being forged by the pioneers of our species that have been for quite a while. But we may not know truly the answer of what we need until it is there before us. Right now, there are great minds all across the planet lighting up with remedies, with ways of formulating things that are very different from how we've done it in the past. But most of these people are still unknown. 
and they're going to start connecting together over the next 20 years. They're going to build something which the world has never seen before. Humans have never seen before. Maybe no one has ever seen before. At the same time. So 